Hi, this is Dr. Kay Sweetser from San Diego State University. So what I'm going to show you how to do is how to connect your Qualtrics instrument with the PSFA SONA Human Subjects Recruitment System. When we connect the two systems together, you can build an instrument in Qualtrics and then recruit human subjects via SONA. When the participants or the subjects go through SONA to sign up for your study, they will then be directed back to your Qualtrics so that they can um, view the website and take the study. And at the very end, they will um, automatically have their participation recorded back over to SONA. And so this takes out the need for you to um, A, even know who these people are, you can have an anonymous study, and B, uh, report who these people are that participated back to the professors um, in the classes that these students belong to. Um, so it, it makes everything anonymous, which is fantastic for the quality of data and the amount of privacy that we allow our subjects. And it also takes a huge burden off of the researcher in still providing that information back to the professor. So there's a couple of steps and we toggle back between um, Qualtrics and uh, Sona as we do this. So you can see right now I am in Qualtrics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the study that I want to set up here. And it's my post-election survey. And um, I have instructions that your uh, SONA representative should have emailed you. And I have them printed out um, and they're Google Docs um, for you to kind of follow along with. Um, so one of the first things that I want to do is I want to go... Um, into survey flow and I want to make sure that I have this little area in here where I am going to tell Sona this person got to this point in the survey and so you can now grant them credit. Um, so this one was already set up but the way that I did it was you're obviously going to click add a new element and it's going to be embedded data and then you do lowercase i and d. And that's it. Now I'm going to delete this one out um, because I already have it up in here. Um, but this uh, is an important element. If you do not have this in here, then Qualtrics will not speak. This is one of the many um, points of failure where Qualtrics will not speak to Sona. And obviously we need them to talk to one another. And so this is one of the ways in which it does that. All right, so I, re I really didn't make any changes, so um, I'm good to go. Of course, you would save your changes um, in here. Okay, so as I look at my instructions on adding a Qualtrics survey to Sona, um, it says that uh, one of the things I need to do, of course, is to turn on my survey. The survey is currently not open for people to take. And so I clicked on distributions and then I'm going to click on getting a link here. So it has given me this amazing Sona link right here. So now I'm going to take this link and I'm going to go over to um, Sona. And I'm going to log in as a researcher. And I want to um, create a new study. Um, view and edit your studies, view and add your studies, create a new study, add a new study, create a new study. Okay, great. So I'm gonna toggle over to my instructions for researchers in how to set up a study in Sona. Um, uh, Google Doc set of instructions. Okay, so um, you, you know, step number one, I've got my, I've gotten my researcher account. Um, I understand that at, things can be done. All right, so now I'm on step number three, create a new login. And now I have to pick what kind of study it is. It's going to be, um, because this is Qualtrics, it's going to be type D, which is online external. 
So I look in here and I go online external and it is going to be for credit. So online external are studies that send students to another website to collect data, e.g. Qualtrics. So if you're doing Qualtrics, you go online external credit. Continue. All right, basic study information. Uh, the name of your study needs to be the name of the study with the IRB. Um, I, of course, cannot remember that, so I'm going to go back to my consent form, which is my first page of my study, and I see that it is post-election relationship survey, and also here is my protocol number. I'm going to get my protocol number on my clipboard. So post-election survey. Um, in abstract, it says that um, we ask that you do not um, put anything there. Um, in description, um, only put uh, your IRB um, expiration date. And my IRB expiration date is going to be um, September 26, 2017. Um, eligibility requirements, um, adults age 18 and older. Duration. This is a really important part. For duration, um, we grant half a SONA credit for 30 minutes. Uh, one full so SONA credit for one full hour. So the majority of the studies that people are going to add are just going to be 30 minutes or less. And so I'm going to say that the duration is 30 minutes, and that means that the credit is 0.5. Um, preparation. Uh, do they need to do anything to prepare for this? And in this one, the answer is no. Um, so I'll leave that blank. Here is my IRB code. There we go. Um, is it an active study? Yes, it's going to be an active study. And let's see, prerequisites. Um, so participants must participate in all of the following studies that I choose before they, or at least one of them. Um, I'm not going to change anything there. Participants, um, if they're disqualified, if they um, have participated in any of these studies, I'm not going to check any of those. Um, are there any particular courses that the um, students absolutely need to be um, enrolled in? So if this is only for, st for students, say, in um, WOOS 103, then I would put that over. I don't have any course restrictions on this one. Um, I don't have any invitation codes. Is this a web-based study? Yes, it is a web-based study. And now it wants the um, SONA uh, URL. So I have to switch back to my SONA handout, which told me how to do this. And I go back to my distribution. And I find my URL right there. And notice it says that I have to have this percent. Um, it actually goes, uh, what did it, it put a couple extra things on there, didn't it? Oh, no, it ends in 29. Okay, good. So then after this, I have to have ampersand ID equals um, percent survey underscore code, and I'm putting it in all caps just because that's the way it says, and it is case sensitive, and then uh, percent sign. So basically I typed in, at the end of the URL I pasted, I typed in this business right here, which is on the adding a Qualtrics survey to Sona handout, where it says to type in ampersand ID equals percent sign um, all caps survey underscore code percent sign and this is case sensitive so make sure uh, that you do that. Um, back to my uh, instructions for researchers and how to set up a SONA study, my other um, set of instructions, I come back here 
and I have my study URL. That's what I just did. Um, participant um, sign up deadline. I'll just say one hour um, before the study is supposed to occur for each of these. It doesn't really matter. Should the researcher receive an email notification when someone signs up? This can get annoying. You might have up to 500 people that are participating in your study. So if you're doing an online survey or an online experiment, I would recommend that you say no. However, if you're doing a small um, qualitative experiment where you're recruiting people to physically come to you um, for a focus group or um, an interview or something like that, then you might want to say one of these yes options. However, this is a quantitative online survey and I don't want to receive 500 different email about people. So I'm going to say no on these. Um, can the researchers um, for the study be assigned specific time slots? Uh, there's only one um, researcher in this one, so I don't need uh, to do that one. Um, shared comments and private comments. We leave blank. Is there a research alternative? Um, so in here it says no. Uh, do not worry because um, when the SONA administrator receives your study, the SONA administrator is going to go in and is going to change this option for the research alternative because every study needs to have a research alternative. So this is not something that you can change, but the SONA administrator will change this for you. Um, so I'm going to uh, continue on and I'm going to add this study. Okay, so um, I have my study all ready to go, but now I have to do some more back-end stuff over on Qualtrics. So, um, let's see, going back to my Qualtrics directions, I am going to take this content right here, Qualtrics redirect to a URL, and notice how it ends in this, um, you know, survey code equals dollar sign, uh, squirrely bracket, blah, blah, blah. This is exactly what I need um, in there. And so this is really good that that is already in there. Okay, so now I have to go back to my Qualtrics and I have to, in my survey options, so go back to here, in my survey options, I have to redirect to a SONA URL. So in survey termination, click redirect and redirect it to the link that you copied from Qualtrics redirect to URL. And it must have that dollar sign bracket E um, slash slash field slash ID bracket around it. It must be at the end um, in there. Okay, save. Because I did make a change, so I'm going to save. Now, sometimes you have an end of flow, end of survey in your survey flow. You see I have um, an end of survey option in here. And so I'm going to actually need to go in here and make sure that I have that URL in there. If you do not have an end of survey um, scheduled into your survey flow, then you can just skip this. But I had something in there, and so I need to make sure that it's directing it to the right place. Um, and then you press save flow. And then what you're going to do is you're going to log out of your SONA account. Um, and, or I'm sorry, you're going to create a time slot. First, let's create a time slot. Um, time slot view or administer time slots. There are currently no time slots. I can add a time slot. And 
Um, I want my maximum. This is a test time slot that you're doing first, and you're gonna do this for the PSFA dummy. Basically, you wanna make sure before this goes out to 500 people that you are able to um, connect Qualtrics to your um, Sona survey so, or Sona uh, system. So you want to um, create a really quick kind of fake time slot um, so I'm going to do this one participant. And then um, I'm going to test it on the PSFA dummy. Um, after I test it, I'll come back in and I will create a time slot for no more than 500 people. Um, in the final participation date, I'll make sure that I give the final participation at a time that makes sense, 11.59 p.m., and then I'll press add this time slot. Um, so that is how you set it up. We do have these uh, directions that you should have been emailed, and if you have any problems, then you can always contact your um, researcher, uh, PSFA Sona point of contact, and he or she will be happy to help you troubleshoot and fix things and walk you through the process. So thank you for using Sona, and I hope that this video was helpful for you.